Hey everybody, Syntax77 here, and today I just want to do a real quick gear tip video. Actually, it's sort of a follow-up to my previous video where I showed you my coffee can cook pot that I made, uh, how to make it, and my thoughts on it. So if you haven't already seen that video, feel free to check it out. I will glaze past all the fine details. You can watch that separate video, but you may notice something if you've seen that other video that's different from last time. It used to be shiny and silver, and now it's got this matte black finish, which is what we're here to talk about today. You see, the advantages of this coffee can system is, A, kind of obvious, it is much cheaper than going out and buying a titanium pot. Practically would say it's free if you're somebody that already drinks coffee or knows someone who does. A little less obvious compared to titanium, it's actually just as light, if not lighter, of course, it's not as crush proof and resilient as titanium, but it is actually a bit lighter a lot of times. Definitely just as light. Now, compared to aluminum, it's more crush proof than that, so it's got an advantage over aluminum. It's gonna hold its shape a little better, or a lot better, I should say. But a downside that you wouldn't get with titanium or aluminum, you will possibly get corrosion with these tin can cook sets. Uh, mostly bottom edges and whatnot if you're not really vigilant with keeping them dry in the field, which I usually am, so I usually don't have too big of a problem, but I have had some minimal rusting occur here and there, and my friend had one that he got some decent rust on, so it led me to look for a solution. And here it is, as you may have guessed, it's this black coloring here. Now what's that all about? Well, grab some change out of the couch, head on over to the hardware store, pick up a can of that. Uh, I'm sure there may be other brands out there, but the first one I saw when I was poking around was made by Rust-Oleum, which, obviously, Rust-Oleum, pretty good at protecting from rust, but different than regular Rust-Oleum, this is the high heat version, so make sure you get the one with the picture of the grill on the front there. I believe it will protect and withstand up to 1400 degrees or something crazy like that, so nice and high heat ready, unlike just putting some regular spray paint on there and getting all sorts of weird fumes coming off of it when you go to heat it up. Now, one quick thing before you go out and grab a can of the black. I will tell you this. Luckily, I took this out and I've used it on several occasions. Here's the experience I had. Well, first we should go back to how things used to be. Before I treated it, can was all silver, I'd take it out, I would take my pot and um, I would put it directly on the alcohol stove, you know, pour a little alcohol on my stove, then I'd light it up, wouldn't really wait that long for it to preheat, I'd plunk it down right on top and eh, within seconds really it would get up to full heat, you'd have nice uh, jets of, of flame coming out the side, all was well with the world. I took this out for the first time and I noticed that when I was putting it on there, the flame just was taking longer to get to that full, full on raging flame that I'm used to. So that was a little weird. Then on several occasions, it actually went out completely. I looked over and it had extinguished itself. I thought this is really strange. It never had this problem before. It's gotta be something to do with the paint because it's the only variable that's changed, right? Then the more I thought about it, I'm sure some of you are screaming at the screen as well. Uh, what happens when you wear a black t-shirt out on a hot sunny day? You get hot because the color black does what? Absorbs heat. Whereas before it was silver on the bottom. So what was happening was when I put it right on my flame source, it was the silver pot was reflecting the heat back onto the fuel, thus uh, facilitating better evaporation, making sure that that fuel stayed nice and hot because it's actually the fumes that are burning, right? So the warmer the fuel is, the quicker it gets up to uh, a flame and the more readily it will stay there. So what I think was happening was the black was actually absorbing that heat and it was going out on me. I got through the trip, it wasn't the end of the world, but it was kind of annoying. So if you go out, it comes in white as well. White, not quite as reflective as silver, but it is more reflective than black. So what I did was treated the bottom with white. Now in my case, I kept black on the outside because I kind of liked the look of that. It's a little lower key. That's just personal preference. Um, but you know, if you just want to spend three bucks and be done with it, 
then just grab the white and spray the can down. Or get fancy, get both colors and put some black and white camo on there. Get, get your art project on. But the point of the story is, ever since I put the white on the bottom, I haven't been able to duplicate that situation where the flame was going out. So I think that did eradicate that problem. Now it's back to functioning just like it did before, only I've got some rust proof. You do see there's some burn marks on there. And also there's some marks here where you can see my original black layer there coming through. I might have to hit this with another coat. But one word of warning, use this a few, uh, few times at home in a safe environment. Um, do some test boils because I've noticed that at first, the first couple boils, uh, the paint kind of sticks to the stove. So when you go to take your stove off, the, um, I'm sorry, when you go to take your pot off, the stove will want to be stuck to it. So just be aware of that. Do some test boils at home until it kind of go through that break in period. But after that, you got yourself a nice rust proof, snazzy looking pot. Not too bad. That's my quick tip. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time on Syntax 77. Have fun out there.